We're less than a week away from Maryland's Fleet Week and Flyover Baltimore, and with it comes a new festival location at Port Covington, plus special music by the brave men and women of the Navy Band. You will hear them before you see them. This is just such a special place to do it um, because of the rich heritage that, that is here in Baltimore. A symphony of sounds by members of the United States Navy Band during Maryland Fleet Week and fly over Baltimore. We have people who take care of engines. We have people who take care of music. Percussive melodies Chief Patrick Gordon hopes will attract Fleet Week enthusiasts to the event's newest site at Port Covington. With a lot of coordination and uh, honestly it's an opportunity for people to see more of the city. Port Covington expected to come to life on September 10th and 11th with live performances, military displays and food. Well, a lot of people think Baltimore and they think the Inner Harbor, but it really is a greater city with greater things to see, and Port Covington is just part of that. Musician first class Allie Albrecht, humbled to provide military support through her trumpet. My grandpa actually served during the Korean War, and uh, he plays trombone and he played in the Army Band. So I've kind of always known that like military music was, uh, you know, an amazing outlet. An outlet highlighting Maryland's naval tradition. We are a, a sea state, and we want to really promote how those sea services are a part of Maryland, and Maryland is a part of those sea services. Beautiful. Yes, and they are so thrilled. They're going to be able to do an assortment of different pieces from patriotic music to music from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. So people will really be in for a treat. So look at the schedule, find <laughs> out when they're playing, and show up at Port Covington. You know what? Why not? I'm doing it. All right.